talk about Metal Tiger. I've got to talk about them. <coughs> right? So okay. I'll, I'll, I'll kick off, and I know, yes. I know you're in a different capacity now. So if you just jump back to the 5th of December, Alex Borelli, Chief Executive Officer, steps down. Jordan Luckett, Technical Director, yeah. he resigns. Terry Grammer, Non-Executive Chairman, he goes to the Non-Executive Director. And then the, the, the musical chairs start. We have Charles Holtz <coughs> coming in, a non-executive yeah. chairman. Then we yeah. have Michael, who's always been about, Michael McNeely, takes the CEO's position. Yeah. And you, unbelievably, are a non-executive director again, along with Keith Springle, who's the financial director. Yeah. That was a mouthful. Right, there you go. What, what, what can you comment on that one, then, this uh, game of chess that, that's just gone on in the background? Okay, it, it wasn't what we, we, we wanted, uh, absolutely sure. There was, a, there was a, a, an offer from BMR to, uh, to buy out the, uh, the company uh, released at the end of November that was rejected by the uh, independent uh, directors of Metal Tiger's uh, undervaluing the company, which, you know, was the correct thing to do. Uh, the, uh, I don't particularly want to dwell on the rationale and, and all the rest of it for that particular proposal. Uh, I, I would say there were some strategic synergies in, in uh, Metal Tiger and, and BMR coming together. Uh, the uh, The... And you could argue those and debate those and so on, but the uh, the price that was offered was the fundamental flaw. Uh, oh, because way, it was. no one right. talked about the strategy. Everyone was focused on the price. Now, what that did is create a degree of uncertainty uh, and unhappiness in the market, which is understandable. There had to be some management changes, and plenty of uh, uh, plenty of people were prepared to uh, step up to the plate and uh, and get back involved with the business. After something like this has happened, the key thing is to restore confidence in the investor base. Uh, to tell people, you know, we've uh, we, we've got the the the, uh, the same assets. If you look at our uh, business assets as we had before, that uh, offer came out. Uh, in fact, it's better because oh, yeah, if you, you look Botswana, at Botswana, the, the T3, we, we've got the, the scoping, scoping studies, study. Yeah. Yeah, from Botswana, which for the first time pegs, uh, uh, you know, an MPV on the project, so 180 million at 2.53 uh, per pound copper, dollars per pound. Uh, copper's obviously trading a bit higher than that now, uh, and Metal Tiger have a 30% holding in that. Uh, so that's a very significant asset versus our market cap at the moment. If you look at, uh, and that asset is from a tiny fraction of the overall T3 area uh, being tested. So within nine months of actually finding, discovering this uh, big copper silver resource, we've uh, we've got uh, our deposit. We've got a maiden resource out to market in September, and we've got a tracking scoping study out uh, in the last uh, in the last few days, and uh, of course. You know, the, the valuation of that one project on a sensible basis uh, is interesting versus the market cap. Uh, Thailand progresses. This is a silver-led zinc mine with a processing plant on site. Well, two mines. Processing plant there. It previously produced uh, commodities, and uh, it just uh, needs permitting and refurbishing. Uh, but it is a near-term potential production source for uh, significantly needed zinc. Uh, lead and, uh, and silver in Thailand to give hundreds of people jobs and make a massive difference to the local economy uh, in a country where we've had a great experience of doing business uh, to, so far. Uh, so the two major, major assets of the business are still there and are moving forward and so on. Uh, Spain, we've uh, we've been making progress with our work on the ground and we obviously need to update the market on that, uh, which we will do. Uh, and you, the the problem is that the market sentiment is such an important and delicate thing that after that happened uh, ten days ago, then understandably the market wavers. There's, you know, uh, people who are uh, are interested in seeing your share price fall then jump on the bandwagon and start knocking the business on discussion sites and. And the market makers, that's the job they're in. The market makers so want to get them shares down and it's, it's, they'll, they'll suck them up all day long, won't they? Well, the, mar the market's that's very clever. It, it knows how to exploit weakness. It knows how to bring the prices down exactly. and so on. Uh, but there's some good... Uh, that we, we have a good uh, broad board. We, we have Michael McNeely, now a CEO, uh, and he is a very, very, very capable individual. He's got a good team around him. We've, uh, we've got a good broad board in place now, and we're all working together for the same objective. So we have, uh, we have a couple of absolutely cracking assets, 
in, that have relatively near-term development potential and production potential, particularly in the case of Thailand, and also really now with the scoping study, we're moving towards that target in respect of uh, Botswana. Uh, there's huge amounts of interest in, in the projects that we've got, huge amounts, and uh, that will continue bubble and, you know, things can happen from that. Uh, Spain, we're making uh, great progress on the ground, and obviously we want to give people an update as to where we are. But business-wise, it's fabulous. It's just sentiment has been a bit trashed. Uh, we're all aware of it. Uh, we keep monitoring what people are saying, and we're going to do uh, our level best to get that confidence back. I, I spent two and a half years uh, in the first part of it working with Cameron uh, Cameron Parry uh, we, we devote a huge amounts of time uh, we missed tons and tons of time with our, our families to get the business where it is today yeah uh, and uh, we've got cracking assets you know we, we, we we've we've been involved with the funding of the discovery of a major major copper silver deposit in Botswana we're uh, on on the cusp really of bringing uh, a significant silver lead zinc silver lead zinc uh, mine back into production uh, in Thailand subject to permits and, and refurbishment and and we've got some really interesting stuff in Spain and we're moving forward as a business dramatically. It's just that the market's take, taking a kick to the uh, nudges and uh, uh, in terms of our share price, we need to build that back. It's like Michael. You look at Michael. Every time I've seen him, when I've been in London, he's always got a suitcase. You see, it, people don't realise, well, outside people won't realise his experience because he was in Thailand all the time. And then if you go back previous to that, for Michael's yeah. experience, the new CEO, originally a nomad... Exactly, he's got Amazing. an interesting pedigree. He's got he's got a fabulous connection base. He's got a lot of people that are engaged with him uh, across the lad. market and and in institutions. He's uh, he, he's got an opportunity. He's a, uh, a young man, or younger than the rest of us, that, and we're all very jealous about that. But <laughs> he's a very bright, intelligent individual. He's surrounded by a good team. He's got his own connections and confidence and drive and determination. I've I've seen him come to life in the last. Uh, in the last week or so, he's got this fabulous challenge now. He can make himself on this. Yeah. Uh, and we definitely. should get behind him and we should give him the support because this is this is a business with fabulous uh, fabulous assets. It's built in such a short, short period of time, led by uh, led by a gentleman who can make his, his career in his life. Uh, if we give him some support uh, and 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 uh, he will work like a dog to make this happen. Uh, and I, I am entirely behind him on this. Uh, we've had a, a, an interesting set of debacles in recent times. Don't particularly want to dwell on them much. Just want no, to get on with things and, and, and help Michael to drive this business forward. Yeah, just, he's come out of a, a he's out of a nomad and he's uh, got a into, good background. Uh, and then in, into into business, and he's he's very 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 impressive. Uh, uh, what yeah. he's doing at the moment and the effort he's putting in and so on is superb. And uh, I just want people to get behind him. And like, just to touch on with Alex Borelli, obviously, no matter what, he was with the company, he was with Metal Tiger five years, obviously, when they went from Bradley Exploration, PLC, and they turned into Metal Tiger. So Alex yeah. Borelli, has been, he's been around for a long time, like, so it's just, like you say, it's just time for a new dawn, that's all it is, really. Well, yeah, of course, and I, I wish him well, uh, and I don't particularly want to dwell on what happened and, and all the rest of it. We, we've got some great assets within the business we want to uh want to do the very best we can for shareholders and, and build this uh and it's great to have the the additional team members behind you know uh, behind me uh in terms of supporting uh michael as we all will do he is uh he is a very capable young man i i hope he makes this a cracking cracking company in terms of market value uh i'll give him uh, all the energy my energy that he needs but he's perfectly perfectly capable of doing the vast 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 majority uh we, we without support but we're there for when he he wants some help guidance assistance or whatever uh to the best of our abilities to make sure he makes Metal Tiger a success. You know, for a company that I was involved in the creation of with uh, Cameron Parry back in 14, I want, to, I want to see this business that has tremendous assets now in place do exceptionally well for shareholders. And what's happened in recent times is unfortunate, but now we move forward.